I hope everything is going well with you. And sorry for the slow update, as I've been busy with a lot of stuff recently. In this tutorial, I will demonstrate the process and techniques for creating a water glitter animation like the one in this scene. Creating this effect is actually quite easy, whether you use After Effects or Blender 3D. So sit back and enjoy the video. Before we begin this tutorial, let's take a look at the background art that I prepared earlier. The artwork is mainly separated in two main sections, the sky and the water. Remember to add the water reflection as it is important for creating realistic water animation. You can achieve this by flipping the sky layer, then lower the layer opacity and apply a vertical blur filter to the flip layer. Let's look at how to create sun glitter water using After Effects next. As you can see here, I have imported the background images into this composition. We will start by creating the water movement animation. This can be achieved by using a procedural texture. First, let's add a new solid to the scene. With the new solid selected, go to Effect, Noise and Grain, and add the Fractal Noise filter. Increase the contrast value, and reduce the brightness value. Then, go to Transform Settings, disable Uniform Scaling, and reduce scale width and scale height. Next, we will animate the fractal noise. Start by adding keyframes to the offset to balance option. Adjust the second keyframe Y value so the noise animates downward. Now, alternate click on the stopwatch icon and enter the following script. Loop out offset. With this expression, we were able to offset the noise position continuously. Let's add some variation to the noise. Alternate click on the Evolution Option stopwatch icon and key in the following script. Time, asterisk, 300. This will make the noise pattern more interesting. Next, go to Effect, Distort, and add the corner pin filter to the solid. Adjust all the corners so that our fractal noise only covers the water surface. We will use this procedural noise texture for our water animation. We can now rename and hide the noise layer. Next, add a new adjustment layer. Then go to Effect, Distort and add the Displacement Map filter. Select the noise layer as the Displacement Map layer and change the Source option to Effect and Mask. The Displacement Map used the animated fractal noise to simulate water movement. To add a brighter section of water into the middle of the scene, first Ctrl D to duplicate the noise texture layer. Then add a mask to the duplicated layer. Since we use corner pin filter, the mask behaves differently now. To fix this, we can pre-compose this layer. So let's remove the mask and press Ctrl Shift C to pre-compose the new noise layer. Remember to choose Move All Attributes into the new composition. Now, we can mask the Precom Noise layer again. Next, press F to add a bit of feathering to the mask, and change Layer Blend Mode to Screen. We can also thin the layer to add color to the water specular highlights. We 
have completed the water animation. Now let's add detail on the water surface. First, add a new solid to the scene. We can reuse the black solid from our library. Then, add the particle system through Effect Simulation CC Particle World. Go to Particle section and change particle type to star. Then go to Physics section and adjust velocity and gravity to zero. Next, go to the Producer section and adjust the radius x, radius y, and position y values to cover the water surface. The water glitter looks a bit big now, so go to the particle section and decrease birth size and depth size. Increase the max opacity option to 100% as well. Then change transfer mode option to add. And change the particle system layer blend mode to screen. You can change the colors of the particles too through birth color and depth color options. But I'll leave them as they are in my case. To enhance the glitter, we can add a little bit of blue through Effect Stylized Blue. If you decide the default star particle, we can use a custom image for the water glitter. To achieve this, import the custom particle image into the composition. Then, go to Particle section and change Particle Type to Texture Square. After that, choose the Custom Particle Image for the Texture Layer option. Remember to readjust the particle size if the Custom Particle Image is too small. We have created a basic water glitter effect using After Effects. Next, let's look at how to create this effect using Blender 3D. As you can see, I have two planes in this scene, one for the sky and another one for the water surface. The sky plane uses an image as an input for principal BSDF shader. Connect the image to the emission color and set the strength to 1 to make the sky brighter. The color still looks a bit off, so go to the Render tab. Under Color Management, change View Transform to Standard. The water plane also uses a principal BSDF shader. Change the base color to a color of your preference and reduce roughness to 0. If you are using the EV Render Engine, you may need to add a reflection plane to ensure the water reflection works properly. Reflection plane can be found under the Light Prop menu. Next, add a new noise texture node and a bump node. Connect the color output of the noise texture node to the hive input of the bump node. Then, connect the normal output of the bump node to the principal BSDF shader normal input. The scale of the noise texture is currently too large. So, reduce bump strength to 0.05 and increase the noise texture scale to 35. You may need to adjust these values based on the scale of your scene. To animate the water surface, add the texture coordinate nodes and a mapping node to the noise texture node. You can add these two nodes quickly by pressing Ctrl T with the Node Wrangler plugin. Next, go to the Y location of the mapping node and key in the following value. Hash Frame The animation appears a bit too fast right now. To slow it down, divide the frame value by 200. Let's add some variation to the noise pattern. Under the noise texture node, change the noise type to 4D. Then go to the W option and enter the following value. Hash frame divide 200. Now that we have a simple water animation, let's add the glitter effect. With the water plane selected, go to the particles tab, add a new particle system. Under the Velocity section, reduce Velocity Normal to 0. Also adjust Gravity to 0 under the Fill Weight section. Next, go to the Render section and change the Render as option to Object. Then, change the Instant Object to a 3D model of the glitter. In my case, I'm using a plane with a glitter texture.
To control the depth and birth size of the particles, go to the texture section and add a new texture. In the texture settings, change texture type to blend. Enable size under influence. Then go to the mapping section and change coordinates to strand particle. Enable the color ramp in the color section as well. Black color will make the particles smaller, while white color will make them bigger. So, adjust the color ramp accordingly. To control where the particles should spawn, select the water plane and change the weight paint mode. Then, you can paint the area where glitter will spawn. Remember, you will need to have enough polygon for the water plane for the weight painting to work properly. Next, go back to the particle settings under vertex groups. Select the vertex group that we painted earlier in the density option. Besides using a custom glitter object, we can also use the compositor to enhance the effect. Enable the use node option in the compositor layout, then add a glare node before the composite node. We can increase the glare render quality. But most importantly, remember to change the glare type to simple star. You might be wondering why we were not using the Ocean Modifier in Blender 3D. In my view, the Ocean Modifier produced a different result and deserves its own tutorial. If you'd like to see a tutorial about the Ocean Modifier, let me know in the comment section. The method you have learned in this video can be applied to a wide variety of cases with some adjustments. For example, you can apply it to a close-up shot like this or in a scene with multiple layers. You can also bend the procedural noise texture, so the water animation moves in curved surface. To achieve this in After Effects, you can use the Bezier Warp or Mesh Warp effect. And in Blender 3D, you can achieve this by using the Lattice or Curve Modifier. Instead of creating the water glitter manually, we can also use stock footage to achieve the same result. Add a mask to the footage to reveal only the water area. Then, use screen blend mode to layer the footage on top of the artwork layer. In some cases, we may need to adjust the contrast of the footage so that it fits better with the artwork. Using stock footage will produce a more realistic result. But it is a simpler option for water animation. I wanted to take a moment to thank all of you for your continuous support. Your subscription means a lot to me and helps motivate me to keep creating content that I hope you enjoy. If you have any suggestion, feedback or just want to say hello, don't hesitate to leave a comment on the video. Your input is always value. Until next time, take care.